This video is about my take on the Pampered Chef Bubble Waffle Maker. I watched every YouTube video that I could find from the Pampered Chefs on this Bubble Waffle Maker, and every single one of them did it wrong. The way they were doing it was you preheat the bottom, open the top, preheat the bottom. Don't ever touch the top or they have it uh, removed. Then they pour the mixture in. We've got two mixtures today. We've got blueberry and sweet potato. But what they do is they heat one side, the other side stone cold. Spray it, pour the mixture in, then they cook it on the one side they flip it so that the cold side's down and they say cook it for one minute. That cold side isn't even going to get warm for two minutes to start cooking. So every single one of these pampered chefs doesn't have a clue what they're doing. So what I'm going to do, real time hopefully, So over medium heat, we're going to warm it for two minutes. Then I'm going to flip it and warm it for two minutes. Then I'm going to put the mixture in. And the side that is on the bottom is the hot side. The top side is the cooler side. So when you flip it over, the, the bottom side becomes the top, but that's already hot, so that is cooking. The bottom, you're warming it up, so that's cooking. That's the difference between me and a pampered chef. Okay, we now have two minutes, and the bottom is warm, the top is cold. We're going to flip it. Now we're going to warm the cold side. Top side is already warm. Be back in two. Okay, now that both sides are warm, I'm going to raise this up. See if I can make a mess. We're going to pour the potato pancake in. Okay. Now the secret is the bottom is already warm. So it's cooking. The top is reasonably warm. So by flipping it over immediately, the bottom, which is now the top, is hot and it's going to be cooking in the bottom you're going to raise the temperature back up so it'll cook so both sides cook at the same time because I've seen them pull the bubble waffles out one side is golden brown the other side is pale because they didn't warm up the other side for two minutes which says to me you've never made a waffle in your life because a waffle has to cook on both sides at the same time it's not a pancake but they're treating it like a pancake. So we're just going to let this cook under real time. Now am I coming down hard on the Pampered Chefs? If you're going to display a utensil, learn how to use it before you display it to the public. So the top now has probably cooled down and it's not cooking as hard as the bottom. So you flip it again. You want even heat on both sides because that's the way a waffle is done. And even though it's a bubble waffle and it's half pancake and half waffle, I've been doing this for quite a while. I know how to do it. I make waffles on a 1915 cast iron waffle maker every week. All right, what do we got? All right, it's coming. Is this where you put in the background music? Oh, probably some of you have noticed this. 
I use this to pull out the uh, bubble waffle. Why? Because the woman that sold me the supposed brand new bubble waffle uh, maker, she stole the fork and won't give it back to me. So, it works, sort of. I'm going to flip that back over so that it continues to cook nice and even. Because, folks, that's the secret to a waffle. Not being brown on one side and blonde on the other. Although this one is going to look a little different because it is a uh, sweet potato pancake. Let's have a look. I'd say that is done. All righty. Let's see if we can get this out. Get my plate. There you go. And let's look at the bottom just to prove that I know what I'm doing. Okay, we're back. And I've done the, the blueberry waffle. And I think we're done. Oh, yeah. Heat off. Pull it out. Look at that. Same on both sides because you heated both of the... Uh, things at the same time. Now, there's the potato pancake one. There is the blueberry. So anyway guys, that's how you're supposed to use the uh, Pampered Chef bubble waffle maker.